So, as I said on the last video, I'm now on the Isle of Wight, doing the circular, which is just under 60 miles. Um, I've just left St. Helens, and I'm heading around the bay at Benbridge. Um, it's about 25 past six in the morning. It's really cold at the moment. Um, hopefully, it has been, we've had some really good days actually, but um, it is a little bit cloudy at the moment, but it is supposed to be a bit sunnier today. So hopefully the sun will come out and it will warm up because it is quite fresh at the moment, but it is still early. So, so really looking forward to this one. Should get some good video. Um, it's a classic route around the coast. You can't really get lost as long as you keep the water on your left hand side. Obviously if you're going around clockwise like I am. Um, and yeah, so it's going to be quite hilly this one. There's some monstrous hills on this little island. Um, but there's also some really good flats and really good descents and some awesome views as well. So should be um, should be a good video. So I will spin you around, I'll put you back on the bike and I will speak to you intermittently through the ride. So I hope you enjoy this one and I will speak to you in a bit. I'll see you in a bit. Shanklin and I'm on the first of the significant hills this is I think this is called Cowley's Hill um, it's monstrous I mean you certainly don't get anything like this out in the fence um, but it started back there pretty much as I got out of Shanklin and it goes obviously up here but it kind of goes around the corner and then really ramps up but there is a bench at the top of it and there's a cracking view back along Sandown Bay so oh, bloody hell I will be taking advantage of the bench So, I'll see you when I get there. Oh. See you in a bit. Oh. 
So I'm at the top of, well, I'm kind of near the top, the top's just around the corner there, of um, Cowley's Hill. It's just as savage as I remember. I've been up it a couple of times and it's, it's not any easier. But just to give you an idea of where we've come from so far, that there is, that's Culver Cliff. And then we've come from where that dip is there. That's um, kind of Benbridge in there. So um, we've come from there. So we've come up over Culver Cliff, round to Yaviland, which is in the far distance. And then past the pier, which you can just, hopefully you can just see. And then round Shanklin, where the spire of the church is. And then up this monstrosity of a hill. The first of one, two, three, probably four. So anyway, I'll put you back on the bike, we'll get up to the proper top and then we'll head down into Ventnor. So going, going well at the moment. See you in a bit, see you in a bit. past Ventnor now. Bloody hell, that was tough going. Um, that was pretty bumpy back there. Um, just to give you an idea, on the ride I did out to Whittlesea, for those of you who've watched and can remember some of these videos, I'd ridden 12 miles through the fens and I think the elevation was just coming up for 60 feet. So far on this ride, I've just, just done over 13 miles and I've done over 1,200 feet of climbing, which gives you a an indication as to the difference in terrain between this tiny island and the fens. I think in kind of square feet, I don't know exactly, but I would, I would be confident betting that the, the fens covers more ground than the Isle of Wight but this is significantly lumpier. So I'm gonna be on a slight descent now to Knighton. And I'm gonna, I've got another climb out of Knighton, dropping down to Black Gang on the south coast. And I'm gonna get on the military road and head all the way down to we're effectively down to Compton Bay, just past Compton Bay, which is when the climbing starts again. So I've got to go up over the cliffs um, and then drop down to Freshwater. And then from Freshwater onwards, certainly up to Cows, should be reasonably flat compared to what I've just been over anyway. So, so. I'll spin you around. We are, I think, going slightly inland now because a lot of this, a lot of the old road down there, which we would have gone on, has all uh, kind of cracked and crumbled into the sea. So we are 
kind of cutting, we're heading west, but we are slightly kind of dipping inland to Knighton and then we're heading south again. But anyway, I'll spin you around and I'll speak to you in a bit. See you in a bit. So I've just stopped, come up from Knighton and stopped at the hill here. The road now dips down to the military road, which you can't actually see, but those cliffs in the background, the needles are just at the end of that headland there. We're not actually going that far. We're gonna go over the first bit of cliffs, which are just over the top of those trees. So we're gonna go over there and then drop down into that dip before the main section, which is um, Yarmouth. Uh, sorry, um, fresh water, and then we're going to cut north to Yarmouth. So we're going to head down now towards Black Gang, and then get on the military road, and then just cruise it across along the military road um, to fresh water. And I'll probably speak to you again when we're at fresh water. So going well at the moment. Um, actually, getting really sweaty because it's it's quite humid. I mean, there's a nice cooling breeze, and fortunately, there's no. I mean, it would be nice if the sun came out. It is due to come out in a bit, or today. I mean, it is only eight o'clock still. It's still quite early, but um, there's some cracking clouds up there, but hopefully the, the clouds will break and the sun will come out when I'm on the north, north part of the island. But um, fortunately, there's no real breeze. It's, it's, a, it's a slight kind of cooling breeze, but nothing too, um, nothing too traumatic at the moment. So, Anyway, I'm gonna press on and I'm gonna head that way towards those cliffs and towards fresh water. So I will speak to you again. Uh, yeah, fresh water. See you in a bit, see you in a bit. We're just at Compton Bay. We're heading over to Freshwater, which is there, and we're going up where those cars are going. So this is the next big climb. So the road swings around. I don't know if you can see that white van going up there. So it's going up there, and then it's going round. It kind of drops down a little bit, and then it goes up over that first white cliff. You can just see the scarring of the road going up over the top there. And then it drops down into Freshwater which is over there, and then we're cutting up that way, up towards uh, Yarmouth. So I'm gonna have a bite to eat because I need a bit of energy before I tackle that, because I think that's gonna be a tough one. So, um, see you in a bit, see you in a bit. Knackered. 
So, <laughs> let me just spin you around. So, just come up that road there. So that's the military road. We've come from right over there, over that headland there. That's um, Ventnor is over the back of that and sort of sand down to Shanklin around there. So we've come from right over there. So obviously we've come down this right, well, up this road, come up here. And then we are now going to drop down into fresh water, which is down there where that building is there. That's Tennyson down over there. We're not going there, but over the back of that, just around the corner of that headland is the needles. But we're actually cutting. I don't know if you can see the sea over the other side there. So we're heading over there. So we're going to cut inland now and cut that kind of um, needles point off because um, it's pretty much the only thing that's over there is the is the needles um, visitor park thing, amusement arcade thing. So I'm not going into there. So I'm going to cut, I think it cuts through that woodland there and it comes out um, kind of on the coast road up to fresh up to um, Yarmouth and then we're going to head up along the north coast of the, of the island then so we're we're pretty much where are we we're 28 and a half miles so we're pretty much halfway which is sort of if you think the Isle of Wight as a diamond we are on that kind of westerly diamond point now so we're now going to turn the corner and head that way so the, the slight breeze that we've had which is coming from that way should be blowing um giving us a bit of a tailwind now so um i'm going to get down into fresh water see if i can get a bottle of a bottle of water in fresh water which is apt and then uh we'll crack on and get up to yarmouth so i'll stick you back on the bike so see you in a bit see you in a bit
So it was going really well, um, but I have literally just taken a massive stack on this road. I don't know if you can see, I've kind of smacked my elbow, I've split, I've split my thumb open and God knows what else and kind of just went down on both, both legs, but I'm really pissed off because I've actually busted my lever as well. I kind of went down really hard on the lever and uh, it's completely shattered, completely smashed it. So that's, um, unfortunately, that's the ride over. I've just put a call out to um, Mrs. B to come and pick me up. And, uh, but yeah, unfortunately, that's it, game over. I'm gonna have to get the bike in and get it fixed. I thought I might have been able to just straighten the handlebars, but um, the lever's actually completely busted. So I'm pretty shaken up. It's gonna, I know it's gonna sting when I get in, get in the shower, but fortunately I'm all right. I've kind of smacked my head on the floor and uh, lost my glasses, my bangle came off, but the cars behind were really good. The guy jumped out straight away, but I think I was just going uphill and my chain bounced, my chain came off and that was it, just lost it. So it's easy done, but I'm all good. So. I'm going to wait for Mrs. B to come and get me, so I will speak to you in a bit. I'll see you in a bit. See you in a bit. So I'm back now. Um, just had a shower, which was massively uncomfortable, but um, I'm all right. I'm kind of limping a bit because everything's hurting and I'm starting to seize up, but we're heading out now anyway, so um, I'm going to kind of keep moving about. But I think I was very fortunate that the car behind actually stopped rather than pile into me but um but no it's all good so um thanks for watching this one sorry it didn't kind of finish right till the end but um i will uh see you on the next one once i've got my bike fixed so see you in a bit see you in a bit so this is the the day after the ride um I slept quite well yesterday, still really stiff and achy and some of the bruising's now coming out, but I just wanted to give you a quick kind of overview of the bike. Fortunately, it looks all right. I've um, scratched the pedal down here. The, the pedal's a bit scuffed, um, but everything else, I thought I'd busted the derailleur, but the derailleur seems okay. The rear derailleur, all the gears were changing okay. Um, there's no, doesn't seem to be any damage on any of the carbon, which is good. Um, so the um, handlebar tape will need replacing, but that's going to need replacing anyway, because the, the lever needs to come off. But obviously that's where it slid down the road. So I don't really understand, because it, I landed on my right hand side, um, the right side pedal is all scuffed up and the the tape there is all sort of split and torn and I've got some sort of scrapings on the on the, the right hand lever but then the left hand lever if we look at it is completely trashed I mean that is that's completely bu completely busted and snapped off there um, so I don't know whether they'll have to replace the whole lever or they can just replace the um part of it i don't know how much of that is a kind of consumable part but fortunately there's no other damage that i can see the wheels all seem all right um the fork seems okay and everything else seems okay so i think considering it was quite a a kind of hard drop I think it's actually um, fared pretty well so I'm gonna have to book it in I've emailed the bike company that I bought this from um, and asked them to give me an estimate on I've sort of told them what's happened with the lever and um, kind of asked them to give me an estimate on it so hopefully um, I'll get it booked in in the next few weeks and then get that done so just wanted to give an update on the end of this video and uh, I'll see you in a bit. See you in a bit.